Enjoy, shall you? Yes, you shall. Uh, with Leo, I typically start uh, plugging points into his skills rather than uh, offense or defense like I do in some other classes. And this time around, we're going to go with the bot code X, which actually increases the bots in your uh, general vicinity. General vicinity increases their speed. Uh, I believe it might actually increase their damage, but I know it also uh, increases your own health regen when you hit it. So, Leo, if you've not played him before, he's really good at pushing the lane, or maybe not so much pushing the lane, he's better at like holding your position on a lane. Um, his primary weapon, it's just a little beam of light as you see, but it does actually do some AoE damage to anything around it that it hit, that you're uh, around the target that you hit. As you just see, I hit the left shift button, which was my bot code, which increased their... Almost at her. Um, yeah, I've been playing Leo a bit. I'm not say I won't at all say at all that I'm good at him, but he is fun. He's a cool support class. Um, that green beam of light that I just hit was uh, his right click, his right mouse button on uh, his primary weapon. Uh, if you can see on the targeting reticle. Uh, there is a, in the middle of the screen, there is a small circle, like half circle. Uh, that circle is actually filling up every time I hit an enemy. And of course I'm totally missing. Uh, but as that fills up, it fills up your ability to heal your allies. And regardless of where they are, it'll actually heal them. So they can be all the way across the map, and it'll still heal them. And the more that is filled, the more you're going to heal them for. Oh man, I'm doing a horrible job of hitting targets today. Um, uh, his E button, as you'll see right there, I just turned one of their robots to our side. Killer is, or the kicker is, is that <laughs> they have a Leo too, so we're kind of exchanging. So it's more of a, because there's a Leo on their side who can do the same thing by switching the bots, it's more important that I... Oh, oh, good thing he was there. It's more important that I actually, um... Ah, stay away from this assassin! Get the fuck away from me! Anyways, it's more important that I stay on top of actually switching the box. Oh, and if there's not a robot in the vicinity to take that, uh, the E, which is the, I don't remember what the hell it's called. It's called... Adoration of the AI, thank you. Um, if there's not one in the vicinity, it will just ch ch change into a uh, AOE bomb, if you will. Hmm. But he's a pretty fun class to play. Um, I'm not... I usually don't get good... Uh, kills with him when I play him. On a rare occasion I do, but I play him more for his support ability than I do his ability to deep, uh, be a DPS. Which I, I, when I was first playing him, I was playing him kind of as a DPS and it wasn't too bad. Um, but he's, I think, a little bit more in tuned with playing, uh, being played as a support character. And I'm going to grab that Regenital, because I'm getting my butt kicked. I need to upgrade here. Hold on just a second. And I think I'm going to upgrade into my turret and my offense. And we'll go with all the skills. I was way behind on upgrading. So. Oh, bad, 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 bad. And that's probably not too smart. We'll see. That might not be too bad. I think that actually worked out pretty decently. I put the turret down there and... And it is just plugging away at this other big turret. 
And that's the Annihilator, which I need to get up top for. Oh my god. Ah, the Assassin. So OP. Probably not, because actually when I play the Assassin, I am pretty freaking horrible with it, so... In the right hands, it just feels like you're being picked on. Especially as a support class, so if you play any Super Monday Night Combat, or if you're just playing it for the first time, if you're playing a support class, expect to be picked on by assassins. They are... They are my bane. Oh, we got the Annihilator. Good job, guys. Pick up all this juice and junk. Doing pretty good. We're gonna put this right here. Probably, yeah. I hit. Oh well. Start spawning bots, but yeah. Um, Actually, this is like the third time that I've tried to record this video. The last couple times I was way too tired and I sounded horrible. Uh, not that I sound so much better now, but... Uh, one thing I had mentioned in the other one, not that you would know, is a uh, big thing with Leo. Uh, push lanes, push lanes, push lanes. And it's actually kind of a tip, pro tip uh, for any of the classes, or pros really. Just make sure you keep pushing the lanes. Uh, the nice thing about this turret is if you see the little, whoa, you see the shield symbol. Oh my gosh, she is just destroying me. Uh, wow. Did nobody else see her? Anyways, um, the shield symbol that surrounds the turret, with, when if you're within that uh, aura, it will improve your defense, uh, and it will, uh, I believe, it might actually increase your health regen. And since I'm over here, it's time to push back a little bit. Oh, that's not good. Hey, eesh, we're really getting pushed back on this side. Unfortunately. Looks like everybody's still working on the uh, other lane. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, but... They let that many of the... I don't even know what you call that kind of turret, but... Or, uh, robot, but those things are... Big walls of robot -y meat. They can be a pain in the ass. So, let's spawn some bots back at them. these guys forward. Um, trying to think if there's anything else to say about Leo, really. Uh, he's fun, again, but yeah, it's definitely try to play him defensively, in my opinion. Uh, I would put more points into skills than anything, because those will help you out a little bit. In my opinion, they'll help you out a little bit better than uh, um, your straight damage ability, but like I said, you could play him the other way too, because I did play him as a uh, more of a DPS class when I first started playing him, and he can pump out some serious damage if you uh, put points into his main, into his, just his offense early on. Uh, that AoE, like especially right there, you see a couple of them got bunched up on each other, and I was able to dole out some pretty good damage to him. Got a couple assists there, and another one, so... Uh, yeah, I should mention, that as that guy shoots at me with his, Leo's other weapon, the Ballista, I can't remember what it's called, uh, is like a crossbow, it shoots three crossbows, it does some pretty good damage to um, enemy robots, I've found. 
So, and that assassin's probably gonna rip me apart. So, she is not a good assassin, I will say. She just jumped the hell out of there. Sneaky bitch. Man. She's trying to get me. It's just not working for her. Must be about time for the... Annihilator again. Should be soon. That's right. Yep. I can hear the countdown. I'm just gonna throw the turret down. Looks like we've kind of owned this joint. Um... What was the other thing I was gonna mention? Oh, and there she, there she is. Oh, my God. Looks like we did get the Annihilator, though, so good deal. I should probably upgrade. I'm going to actually pump into my uh, turret. Whoa. Wow. I had a lot of levels there. Now, back to... Ooh, I do have a juice, too. Um, nice thing about with Leo's heal, it's kind of nice to just hang back and plug away at robots so you can keep healing teammates. Oh, that didn't last long at all. It's the one stat that I wish they would track in uh, Super Monday Night Combat. Is uh, the amount of healing that you do. Because that would actually be nice to see as a support class. How much healing you're doing. Oh, shit. See you. Yeah, the uh, gorilla bots or whatever the hell you call those things, uh, I dislike very much. So I'm just gonna try to stay the hell away. And there it is again. What the hell is she doing? The problem with Leo, though, is because of his healing ability being based on his primary weapon, it's kind of a detriment to use anything else but it. And see right there, I couldn't, I didn't have enough healing built up to save my teammate. Oh shit. And one of the teammates just said that, uh, sorry I got silent there, it was getting intense. Um, teammate just said that Leo on the other side is pushing the left lane, so I'm gonna move my butt over here and push back. I think we're gonna get this one. Oops, I don't have enough money. I need that money. I don't even know how I'm doing. Hey, I'm in second place overall, but only with two kills. Not that that means much because uh, I actually had a match the other night. I only had one kill, but I was the top player on my team and we won. And the other team had a lot more kills, but they were doing a horrible job at pushing the lanes, uh, which just was more evidence that it's more about pushing the lanes and being strategic than it was about actually going for kills. So. The only crappy thing is I wish I had a little bit more visibility of my teammates. Like, I wish there was, uh, support for support classes, I wish there was... Oh, I got her! I wish there was a, um, like a bar, or I should say, like a, a list 
of your teammates on like one side of your um, screen that would show all the health of your teammates so you knew about when you should be throwing down the heels. That would be helpful. Oh shit, that assassin man, jeez ow, that's no fair. Throw the tur oh my god, I cannot believe I lived through that. How did I live through that? I think the support had my back there. Wow, that's some serious shit. Uh, it's probably dumb for me to be this extended. And we got a jackpot, so I think everything's gonna be a okay. I'm gonna juice. And we win. All right. Good game. But yeah, Leo, live it.